Welcome to Boca Soul, featuring Calypso. Brought to you by the Calypso Shah Spiritual Center in Boca Raton. Specializing in past lives readings, astrology, plus energy healing, event planning, and more. Calypso Spiritual Center, where you discover the beauty of your soul. Call 561 808 9180 to make your appointment. And now, here's today's Boca Soul. Good afternoon, South Florida, and welcome to the Boca Soul Radio Show. I am Ariella, and I have here with me Martha and Stefan, people that I love to work with all the time. I have them with me in the show, I hang out with them, and we have so much fun together talking spiritual all the time 24 7 whenever we're together and we have a lot going on today we're going to be talking about abundance and prosperity and how you can use it to live the life of your dreams and we love having callers call in and talk to us if you have any input if you have any questions you can call the show 1-888-565-1470 we would be so happy to have you on the show. And what we're going to do today is all the people that are going to call in, we're going to do a raffle. And two of those people get a free 20-minute reading with our very own Calypso Shaw. And what I like to call her is the center of the center. She is the spiritual diva of the Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center. And she does past life readings, and we're going to connect our topic with past lives, so tune in to hear more about that. Um, you can find us on Twitter. We have a Twitter account, and we're always updating our events and what we're doing these days. And uh, you can find us at Boca Soul Show, and that's Soul, S-O-U-L, Boca Soul Show on Twitter. You can find us on Facebook, Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center. And that's Calypso Shaw, C-A-L-Y-P-S-O-U-L, space S-H-A, Boca, oh, Spiritual Center. Exactly. Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center. And we also Thank have our, our Facebook page, so it's also Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center. And we have uh, our meetups, uh, we have a meetup account too for all the events we're having at the center. So you can join us every Monday at 6 o'clock for a meditation infinity walk that we have talked about before. Uh, people that have it is the first time they hear our radio show. So let's explain them a little bit what we have on Mondays at 6. So Mondays are very exciting, especially for me because I'm teaching a meditation class. And we usually correlate our class topic with what we're talking about on the radio that week or in one of Calypso's workshops, which are on Wednesdays at 6 as well. So on Monday, we had our topic was gratitude. So we meditated on gratitude. We did the infinity walk on gratitude. And Martha, you do the best at explaining the infinity walk. So for all of our new listeners, want to give them like a brief. <clears throat> Excellent. So uh, for the people that have, this is the first time they hear about this, the infinity walk is just like a very, um, it's an exercise. It's a physical exercise where you walk um, doing like an eighth the infinity uh, symbol. So I'm just gonna do it here on, if you're walking, uh, you can put two pillows or two things on the floor so you can walk around them and come back. When you're doing this movement, very important, once you're turning, you're turning both ways on your body, once you're walking this way, you turn from your left and then you turn on your right, it helps your brain kind of, uh, you're moving both sides of your body. Uh, you're moving, the idea is to be very, um, the, the movement has to be more harmonious and it has to uh, be balanced from your left and your right. Once you do that, then your brain um, gets into a more settled meditation state. So once you start this uh, exercise, it's kind of like when you do yoga first and then you do meditation. Your brain is more relaxed, your body is more relaxed. One of the things we love about this infinity walk is that it's some people can do yoga, some people can do Pilates, or you know, physically they can do it. This is a very simple movement, and it helps um, both sides of your brain to kind of like a slow down and reset, so you can absorb uh, the benefits of your meditation. So I wanted to remind everyone that 
Not only do we have our radio show, but you can log on to our website, bocasoulcenter.com, and that's bocasoul, S-O-U-L, center.com, and watch our live stream. You just click the tab in the middle that says live stream, and you can see our beautiful faces coming together to talk about spirituality. So log on now. But if you miss, you also can watch it on archives. Yes, there's all of our old episodes, so if you missed our talk on gratitude or talk on pet psychic abilities and all the fun stuff, you just go on our website, bocasoulcenter.com. Correct. And so, besides the meditation, Calypso also is doing workshops, and in the workshop, we love to do our 72 cards of God. Now, we are non-denominational, but we have these cards of God, and Calypso is going to pick one out for us today. Let's see. It's good for the people that haven't heard about this deck card. It's um, they, it's the Kabbalah, um, or do you will say deck, you know, as people use different kinds of decks for inspiration. So this comes from... Can I have the card so sure. I can show it on, on? So I want to show it on the screen, the card. So it's uh, three letters coming from the Hebrew alphabet. Right. And each uh, combination has a meaning. And it gives you, it's, you know, once you, people that like to also read the Bible, you open the Bible and it also comes information that you need at the time. So these cards are great too because brings a lot of inspirational quotes that when you get it, once it's more like a lock. When you know you get that um, lucky cookie from the Chinese. Yeah, the lucky know, fortune. The lucky fortune cookie. So it's kind of like something that you needed to know at that time. When you pick from a tarot deck, it usually has a message for you and this is very similar in that you can pick a random card and like today, I think it was random. I hope so because it's very cool. It says the power of prosperity. And the three Hebrew letters are Samech, Aleph, Lamed. And the message is, I acknowledge that the light of the Creator is the ultimate source of all prosperity and well-being. With this name, I summon the forces of prosperity and sustenance and ask for the strength to keep my ego in check when the other checks start rolling in. So what that kind of means to me is just to keep your center and keep your balance when you start feeling that abundance. It comes at you so quickly. And a lot of people can go into that fear all of a sudden. All these good things are happening and some people kind of retreat or they get really negative like somebody's going to take away the money that I just earned or it's going to disappear or, or is it going to come again. Exactly. And I think uh, when we kind of see TV all the time and we see Hollywood stories, a lot of people get famous in a second and then their life is miserable. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes things come so fast to you in your life. Uh, you don't have the time to think and everything, cr you know, crumbles. Right. So uh, this is very inspirational. One, a lot of people want success, want abundance, and then what do you do with it after? You know, you want to always uh, bring it into your positive way. Uh, one of the things we were talking about this is uh, because some people think about how are you connecting the spirituality and wealth and money. Right. So Because a lot of people believe that spirituality is something that you can't have wealth and money to be spiritual and connected to God. You have to have nothing and like sleep on a mattress on a floor and just kind of only be with God. And that's not true. I think we have beliefs where we come from that, you know, you can have anything you want. Exactly. That, as exactly. long as it makes you happy. And, and, and we, you know, uh, we're talking about how money is not a bad thing. Some people, in, deep inside them, they can't really ask to be prosperous or ask for abundance just because they feel they're a sin towards money. And uh, one of the things we we're talking about when we we're planning this show is telling people, think about money. Money is just energy that is floating around. Mm -hmm. um, one of the segments I'm gonna do a little bit later is talking about how it relates to uh, feng shui. So money in feng shui, it's water. It's rep you know, represents because it flows like water. So if you think about money being energy that moves around, it's not negative, it's not positive, it's just an element. And it's not what it is negative, it's what you do with this, what you do with this abundance. And the intention is what it becomes negative or positive. So we want everybody to encourage and think about money as a positive. And we are all together and we all deserve to have a wonderful life. 
Amazing. S beautifully spoken. So, when we come back from our commercial break, we are expecting callers for the free 20 minute reading, and we'll be talking more about abundance. 1 888 565 1470. At Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center, learn how your past lives are affecting your present experience in this planet. Calypso will read your past life's experiences and help you overcome personal issues, grow spiritually, and find inner peace. Call to schedule an appointment at 561-808-9108. Service provided by Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center, 561-808-9108. With a nationwide knowledge in the real estate market, Stefan Statlander, will give you the best tools available in the market to make that real estate transaction a breeze. Buying, selling, renting, personal or commercial, Stefan is a broker associate and has the experience and reliability you have been looking for. Brokerage with Stateland Brown, LLC. Call to set up an appointment at 561-572-1911. Our community is growing every day. And our show streams to iHeartRadio to any place in the world. Don't lose the opportunity to advertise during our show. Call at 561 808 9108. Welcome back to Boca Soul Radio. I'm here with Martha and Stefan. We're talking, we're going to start our topic on abundance. And we know a lot about that because we have this great momentum going with our spiritual, the Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center right now is booming. We have so much going on. We're doing events. We're meeting so many amazing new people and we have amazing clientele that are coming with good energy. So I like to say, shoot for the moon and you will land with the stars. And when I think of this, I think of my boss, Stefan. I'm totally getting brownie points for this, by the way, but I really do think that Stefan has such a big vision with our spiritual center that we have to, and unfortunately, I don't think we should, but we kind of try to contain him sometimes because he just gets like so, like he's just out there. You know, he's seeing things that we cannot even see yet, and we just have to contain him, but we shouldn't because big goals lead to big things. So, Stefan, can you tell us a little bit about how how do you think the way you think and why? I mean, how do you stay so focused? How do I think the way I think? There's a, a loaded question. Um, well, uh, obviously, you got to be an out of the box kind of guy. Um, you have to have some vision. You have to, you know, if you don't like the child, the status quo, then you have to do something about it. Um, so, you know, that's what we're trying to do here. And what is a vision to you? I mean, uh, people, a lot of successful people say, I had a vision, I had a vision, but people who maybe were not so successful, like how can they get started on some, a vision? Well, look, you, you have to go through a lot of life experience. Um, you have to travel and see other people, meet other people see you know I, I come from the northeast united states you know they think a certain way in new jersey new york you know people i think could relate to me seems like we have half of new jersey down here um and you know but we've traveled to places like seattle and washington we've been in tucson arizona we've been in wyoming we've been in far-flung plate we've been in the middle east calypsos from israel um so you know with and we've seen that people, people wherever they are, they have, you know, they have similarities. They have differences, but they have similarities. And you know, we've gotten insights that we need, uh, we need more nurturing, support system environments. I mean, we see the things going on in the media. We've spoken about this in past programs. Um, you know, why are these things happening? it concerns all of us and what do we do about it well one of the things we can do is we can have a center where we're promoting people thinking you know getting centered 
and thinking about you know what does it mean I mean why are they what are they doing in their life and how you know can they uh, how can they be more effective how can they uh, how can they relate to other people in a better way um, you know there's a lot of a lot of ideas a lot of them are common sense but you know we're we're saying well let's put this into the spiritual center and let's have all these you know uh, educational opportunities the these opportunities to improve yourself learn something um, relax open your mind exactly and I heal exactly and I think one of the most important things when we were talking uh, when we talk about abundance is having a positive mind you know when when you have a positive uh, point of view everything positive comes to you when you're a negative person nothing is going to show up you're not going to get gonna ideas you don't want to get you shut down into yourself and nothing is going to come to you when you're positive you want to go outside you want to meet people maybe you have as we were talking about the vision you have a vision oh I have a vision I want to learn you know I have to take a class but you're in the house you're not doing nothing there is going to come to you when you're, you're positive you come outside you meet people you tell them of what you think of what you want and people are gonna come with ideas to help you I've seen this a lot sometimes you come with a sorrow you have a problem and once you open it up and tell people people always try to help with good idea nobody's gonna tell you oh well that's your problem and, you know you handle yourself people is always trying to a way to make you feel better and that's how positive brings positive right too so that's a very important topic for abundance people out there just to start be positive uh, I know many uh, times we are in a position where everything is coming down and you feel like all these um, um, all these you know problems you're having in your personal life maybe in your job and it's like a spiral going down so you have to come into yourself think about it pray we like praying we like meditation uh, come into a positive and say this is enough this is a stop from now on I'm gonna change my mental s state and I'm gonna become positive and positive things are gonna r reflect with my surroundings amazing and and Martha can you tell us a little bit about what you define abundance as abundance is the universe is abundant everything is infinity everything is you know broad big and sometimes I think people feel they are just lonely and one person and what I'm gonna do but when you have the feeling you're connected with the people around you with your society with the world you know with your own country with the universe you don't feel lonely anymore and when you have that meditation feeling then you get connected and you can absorb this good energy energy and positive energy that is around you fills you up you know it's like fuel to your soul and to your spirit and that's how things start happening to you and that's how uh, miracles you know happen. yes you're attracting all this good um, energy let's talk about uh, you know Calypso had a great story about her vacation yes Calypso as you know if you listened last week Calypso and her family went to the Keys and Stefan happened to be there as well because he is her family and um, amazing miracles happen so let's hear it well uh, yeah well we uh, started out uh, Friday and uh, our trip lasted till Monday we started out Key Largo um, we were just under a bridge uh, it was a, a nice kind of fisherman's place I mean there were boats beside us um, but uh, you know the units were not quite up to snuff um, you know it's a vacation so I guess I'm sorry I just want to make a break I guess everybody has that feeling when you go into online book your vacation and then when you get there and it's like oh my god it's not the pictures it, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't as bad as one could think but it was still you know it wasn't like uh, exactly the bathrooms and this and that so so everyone made a decision we're going to Key West we're going to the end of the road and so we went that extra hundred plus miles to Key West and we were glad that we did and you know Key West is a whole experience in the middle of the Caribbean you know it's like the far west um, lateral with the Florida coast and um, so then we're like 
we get to, okay, let's go find a place to stay. Because the night before I'd made a call and they said, oh, you could get two hotel rooms for 500. And I said, well, but something, we, we didn't want to take the first thing. So when we got there, we got to the visitor center, talked to the guy, and the guy says, sorry, everything is sold out. <laughs> And, and this I'm is like, seven people needing a place to stay. Eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> Three you, kids, five adults. Oh, my God. So you're thinking about driving back, back, and what I've, are you going to do at this point? I don't know? think we were thinking about driving back, but we, you know, it's like, well, this doesn't sound good. Um, so I went out, and I spoke with Calypso, and I said, well, that's what we have so far. Um, and she's like, it's going to be okay, you know. We need three bedrooms. I know. I, w I wanted to rephrase what Calypso told us. Go uh, ahead. And she says, she tells me, she's kind of like, okay, God, help me. I'm with my family. They came all the way down from, e you know, far from Israel. They're going to stay here. We want to have this wonderful vacation. We want to be all together in family. The only thing I'm asking is just have a place where we can stay spend this weekend. I'm not asking for anything else but something that we can stay and we can enjoy our vacation. And what happened then? Well, uh, basically miracles within miracles occurred. Um, the gentleman, he then says, oh, well, you know, I think I have something. He comes out of the door. Um, he says, well, we have one place that's like a cottage and, you know, it's like maybe 600, no, 800 or something. It sounded a little high. But he said, ah, but I forgot. You guys have kids. That's not going to work. Oh, wow. Because so that was the further thing. Okay, yes. So then, you know, then it's like, okay. Again, we, we're all feeling a little despondent. And then the next rabbit came out of the hat. He um, said, uh, he said, you know what? You're not going to believe this. But I have a three-bedroom townhome available for like 500 and change. So much cheaper than what you expect to have before, and and then you had your everybody was happy. You got a great place, and that's when you think, okay, miracles can happen, and it's your intention. It was a miracle within a miracle. I, I said it like a miracle and a miracle and a miracle. But um, so, and when we got to, the, and I gave the guy a five dollar tip because I felt he really earned it. Um, we got to the location, and. It, it, va it massively exceeded our expectations. It was a very, very nice apartment. I mean, so we, we had, each person had, we had a, each had a bedroom. We had, um, you know, a couple, you know, beautiful bathrooms. We had a wonderful view of the ocean. Wonderful. And awesome. so. Uh, and I love that with miracles, because I feel them so many times in my life, especially being around so many high, people with such high vibrations um, is that at first things can seem so horrible and then you know you do a little prayer and maybe the prayer was necessary or not but it's like the universe is giving you such contrast so you can appreciate the miracle so much more and I mean it just lined up so beautifully and you got this cottage on the water and it was a fourth floor I love that. yeah it had everything so yeah um, so you know it can manifest you manifest. you have to visualize you have to say this you know you have to ask for it and you can receive it excellent and one of the things we we are showing here maybe you can't see it very well, well I'm gonna pull it out is this stone that is um, connected to abundance it is called citrine we picked jade and citrine we did not bring jade but we did bring a jade plant and these this plant and this citrine crystal actually can bring abundance to your life with the energies within and they do have high frequencies people are a little skeptical you know we meet a lot of people who want to know about the crystal energy they think we worship crystals and but really you know we just we use them to amplify the gifts that are already given to us and this specific one deals with the lower three chakras mainly the second chakra and it's kind of an orange tone like the second chakra and it can just it you know I, I don't know if people will notice that a lot of times in stores like if you go to a vegetarian cafe sometimes I notice there's like a at the cash register they'll put a big citrine crystal exactly. um, I remember once I was like meditating on more abundance and somebody gave me citrine mm -hmm. so it just comes to you sometimes 
Um, That's a great story. And Satrine, mm -hmm. um, the connection with the second chakra, um, second chakra is connected to your reproductory uh, system. So that is because it's abundant, because that's our way for us to multiply Amazing. and to bring abundance. And I want to talk a little bit uh, of jade here, our, our plant. Um, this is in feng shui, Chinese. Um, I should I explain a little bit about feng shui? Sure, sure. while we're talking sure. about the plant, yeah. So feng shui is an art. It's a uh, Chinese art. It's been out for 5,000 years or more. Um, it's the art of displayment of your surroundings. So you can apply all these techniques to your house, uh, to your office, and within yourself. Uh, so we're talking about abundance, and this plant is connected. First of all, is a plant that is a succulent. A succulent plant is a plant that doesn't need that many, m that much water, to be alive. So it's actually, you know, it's saving you some resources. So it's a great example. Second is that it's a round, the, the leaves are very round and thick, so it kind of like represents a coin. If you think about a coin, it's round right and it's thick, so this is kind of like the closer yeah. within a plant, the plant world. So um, it's called the jade plant because it reminiscence of the jade stone. Okay. And jade is also connected to abundance and good luck. Yeah. And I like that you said it didn't need a lot of water to survive, so it's like exactly. we can take a little bit and make a lot out of it. Exactly. So, so that's kind of like some people think, you know, when, when you're asking for abundance, you have some, but you want to multiply. Great. And with that, we will have a commercial break, and we want you to call us 1-888-565-1470. And if you are interested in a past life reading or in coming to our center, you can give us a call, 561-808-9108, and we'll be back soon. At Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center, learn how your past lives are affecting your present experience in this planet. Calypso will read your past lives experiences and help you overcome personal issues, grow spiritually, and find inner peace. Call to schedule an appointment at 561-808-9108. Service provided by Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center, 561 Eight zero eight nine one zero eight. With a nationwide knowledge in the real estate market, Stefan Statlander will give you the best tools available in the market to make that real estate transaction a breeze. Buying, selling, renting, personal or commercial, Stefan is a broker associate and has the experience and reliability you have been looking for. Brokerage with Stateland Brown LLC. Call to set up an appointment at 561 Five seven two one nine one one. Our community is growing every day, and our show streams to iHeartRadio to any place in the world. Don't lose the opportunity to advertise during our show. Call at 561-808-9108. Welcome back to Boca Soul Radio. It's a beautiful sunny day in South Florida. And we are so happy to be gaining audience members and clients, and we love the good energy that is being brought to us. We want to remind you, if you're listening in the car, you can tune in if you get home and you're afraid to shut us off, you want to hear more, log on to bocasawcenter.com, click on the tab that says live streaming, and you can watch us live right now, or you can watch our previous shows they're all there. And we want to encourage callers to call us 1-888-565-1470. We're going to pick two callers to get a free 20-minute reading with Calypso. Calypso is a past life reader. She can heal any unhealthy patterns that you have been living by going into your past lives and making you aware of these patterns so that you can continue in to the future that you create and be happy and healthy and wealthy. So, and wise. And wise, yes. So uh, 
today uh, you can also find us on Twitter at Boca Soul Show, and we are talking about abundance. And I want to talk more about the fact that yes, you don't. We can include money in spirituality because I I do think everybody deserves to be rich, but abundance. There's more to that. There's you can have an abundance of friends. You can have an abundance of health, ab- abundance of wealth, and you know coming into a lot of people they're they're only working a certain job because of a certain amount of money that they're making but I feel that you can have an abundance of wealth and happiness and money all in the same in in one lifetime you can have all of these and I feel that in my life I've seen this because I meditate on a regular basis I try to keep my energy up in as many ways as possible and I've been waiting for this job actually and it came to me and I'm I have everything I need and it's literally my dream job and I'm surrounded by positive people so for anybody who thinks they have to like deal with pain or a, a mean boss or mean coworkers just to get paid there is a way if you really truly believe if you see in your mind what you want to do it will come to you exactly and I think it's a it's a great um, you know some people think that they have to pay some karma you know that's a way oh I have to suffer so I can get this I have to work so hard yes. to get this amount of money and that's something that you yourself are putting into you and then some people that have some businesses and they are oh you know I only work three or four hours a day and I just make enough money and other people look at them they're so jealous about this life but they feel they don't deserve it maybe that person can deserve it, but not me so when you meditate and you have to reset your brain and you have to give yourself first of all you have to love yourself and uh, everybody we're all the same we all come from God and we're all as important we are all the same important and we we are entitled to have happiness uh, one of uh, one of the things I want to clear up also to people is not because you're wealthy or you're abundant you're happy so a very important um, I think it's a very important uh, topic. It's separating money from feelings. Some people feel, oh, if I'm going to have a million dollars, I'm going to be happy. So no, that is that is going to give you the way to get what you need. But having a check, we had that story of a person having you know, a million dollar check in their pocket, carrying it all the time. You know, it's just a mental, it's just your mentality. So think always as money as a way to get what you need, but that's not uh, your final gold because having we've seen so many people that are wealthy that are famous they have Twitter accounts million people following them and they're miserable right. you know and so you have to separate your feelings from that because once you realize that's a way to get what you need your minds open and you become abundant uh, Stefan had a story a very good story on real estate about Stefan has a lot of projects that he's doing. This is not his only business. And he has been in times of his life where there hasn't been money. And he's made something out of that. I have. um, Well, it was the late 90s. We were in Seattle. I had a dream. The dream was uh, I wanted to buy a building. And, uh, you know, uh, so... And I would talk to people. I would call them up, and and they would say, "Oh, you sound sound rich," you know. I guess I felt rich, yeah. and um, so you know, I was very persistent. I spent like a year working on this project, and in the end, what manifested was I figured out how to buy a building with no money down, very creatively. Um, it was in this little town near Mount St. Helens, where that volcano um, oh. erupted. And, um, you know, it had nine apartments, it had three working stores, it had a big space. It was a very interesting experience. I I learned a lot of things from that experience. Um, Imagine, and I think what you said is very important, that you had, the dream of you was not, I'm going to make money, I need money, it's like, I want a building. So once you focus your mind, it's not about, I need $5,000 so I can have a vacation. My thought is, I'm going to the Caribbean or I'm going to Thailand or you know any place that's my vacation and when you have that in mind you know life is gonna go around and get you there and as you said you spent a year putting your effort like a year yeah 
Absolutely. Um, yeah, and um, you know, today here we are, much later in time, and I'm working on other projects. And today, you know, I, today I have a broker's license, so I, you know, I'm I'm a real estate professional as well. Um, and so I have many insights. I understand more about exit strategies without getting deep into the, it to the public. The point being that. Um, you know, now I'm working on new manifestations of projects that, you know, will create abundance. And, um, and, and all these projects, each one supports the other. So each company will help the other company, in effect, um, in a diversified, synergistic way. Um, so that's just how I'm manifesting, what I'm trying to do, you know, I'm I'm obviously I have my vision and and then within for example the spiritual center this is a diversified business that will do multiple things people will want the goods and services not only the people but also service providers will want to participate and affiliate with the center and it'll be almost like a, a why kind of like you go to the Y and you go for health and this and that. Well here, you know, you're going to The Y M C A. Yeah, kinda like that. You're going to, you know, have a whole range of things. We our plan is to have things open from early morning until late night, seven days a week, have events, do a part, you know, we encourage the public. Yesterday you said don't give up and believe that it's inevitable it's a question of how and when. Let nothing get in your way. So you hold your vision, and you don't don't ask how, you don't ask when, you just keep that vision. And I think that's amazing. Exactly, because how's, how do you make it happen, you know? It's well, how you focus all your energy into literal, that. Yes, literally, you say, this is inevitable. Um, I mean, that's how I see it. It's inevitable. It's exactly the way you said. And we were, as we were discussing Stefan and his success, we were talking about, you know, what differentiates somebody who is successful from somebody who's not. And our newest employee, Sandra, who was on our show last week, was uh, she brought up that people who may not succeed, it could be because maybe they're being so positive in their area of business, but if you become negative in areas of relationship, um, family, or any other thing that's going health in your life, anything that could be bothering you could affect your money situation and any other energy system that is in your body. So you have to be 100% positive all of the time and I think that goes along with having faith that you are an abundant being exactly. and that you have everything exactly. that you need. Exactly, and you deserve it. Everybody deserves to be happy and have abundance. Yeah. Well, if I could just sort of add, you know, it, it, it borrow from science about abundance I mean people don't understand how what does infinity mean what is the meaning of infinity I mean you look at the universe without getting into alternate universes I mean the universe has you know I was just reading an article today um, you know we're in a solar system and not only do we have now we say eight planets then we have all these um, just beyond uh, Neptune we have all these other planetoids which Pluto is part of, and and all these, and they believe there's all kinds of planets out there in what they call, um, it has a specific name, it's a specific type of belt out beyond the edge of the solar system. And then you go further still, there are so many solar systems, and our sun is actually relatively small in the scheme of things. And so there's billions and billions. So there's billions of solar systems, and then there's billions of galaxies and we're just scratching the surface of what infinity means. Abundance. <laughs> that is abundance. Exactly. Amazing. So we're going to go ahead and do another commercial break. Please call in. We've spoken about so many amazing things, and there must be questions going on through your head. 1-888-565-1470. At Calypso Shah Spiritual Center, learn how your past lives are affecting your present experience in this planet. 
Calypso will read your past life's experiences and help you overcome personal issues, grow spiritually, and find inner peace. Call to schedule an appointment at 561-808-9108. Service provided by Calypso Shaw Spiritual Center, 561 808 9 Zero eight. With a nationwide knowledge in the real estate market, Stefan Statlander will give you the best tools available in the market to make that real estate transaction a breeze. Buying, selling, renting, personal or commercial, Stefan is a broker associate and has the experience and reliability you have been looking for. Brokerage with Stateland Brown, LLC. Call to set up an appointment at 561 572 one nine one one. Our community is growing every day, and our show streams through iHeartRadio to any place in the world. Don't lose the opportunity to advertise during our show. Call at 561 808 9108. And we are back with Boca Soul Radio. Coming to the topic of abundance and how we can use it to benefit our lives. And there are so many ways besides the way that you think that you can surround yourself with abundance. Uh, I just want to remind everyone that we are answering questions. This is a live show, one 565 1470 And if you're interested in talking to us or meeting us in person, we have a lot of classes and workshops. We do meditations. Uh, we have events and ex we go to expos. We're always out and about. So if you want more information, you can call us at 561-808-9108. You can check us out on Facebook, Calypso Shah Spiritual Center. We have a Twitter account. We're posting quotes, inspirational quotes, and uh, times and dates of our events at Boca Soul Show. That's our Twitter account, at Boca Soul Show. And our phone number again is 561-808-9108. So back to our topic of abundance. We were talking, we love, this is not Martha Stewart. I call her Martha, the Colombian Martha Stewart. <laughs> She's gonna talk to us about feng shui and all of the different um, external influences that you can put around you to keep the energy flowing and keep exactly. you abundant. Exactly. So one of the key um, topics in feng shui, people when they want to feng shui their house or their uh, business, their office, uh, people are looking to improve their wealth, obviously, their money um, side of their life, um, their health, and also their relationships. So today we're talking about abundance, so I'm going to give you a quick tips that you can do in your house. Uh, Feng Shui in this art, it, your life, it's represented in where you are as your house, as your business. So when all the elements around the place you live are in synergy and the energy is flowing, all the aspects within your life flow better and you be become more prosperous and more. it's more abundant in all different ways. So first of all, um, money in Feng Shui relates to the Qi energy and it flows you think about energy flowing into your house like water coming into your house so if you want to be to prosper and have a lot of energy and abundance coming into your house the first thing you have to look is about your front door make it welcoming make it bright uh, if you are thinking about painting your front door trying to have something that brings catches your eye when you're looking at from the street um, if you have like landscape and you haven't trimmed it for a long time and you can barely see your door, the chi is not going inside of your home. So make sure you always have things trimmed around and it looks nice. Uh, one of the good tips about Feng Shui, which is very easy to follow, is um, you want to have balance. So everything you want to put on one side, you put it on the other side. You have that, um, that you know, like our face. You don't have two eyes. It's Everything is balanced and that brings beauty and also brings good chi and good flow. Um, as money in feng shui is like water, so having a fountain in the entrance of your house, so you have a fountain or you have, if you cannot do that in front of your house or maybe you're living in an apartment, 
you can have a fish tank. So if you think about all those Chinese places you go, they always have a fish tank in the front. Ah. Because why water, it's wealth, is money. And when you have fish in there, it's animals, it's moving the energy around and it's bringing that. As water, as money is re it's, uh, represented by water, you have to check all your plumbing in your house. So if you have any leaks, money is leaking out of your house. So make sure everything, all the faucets, when you close them, they close properly. You don't have anything leaking out. Um, yeah, that's also good, like any sinks in, and also the toilet to keep it closed. So you don't want the energy ah, that's coming very out. Interesting. Yes, and uh, also money, uh, it's related to uh, food and abundance. So it's great to have a mirror on your dining room because once you have a mirror, you multiply your food. You multiply the people that is eating at your house. So subconsciously, you're seeing I'm feeding twice the people I have, I'm eating twice the food I have. And I love that you said that because I, I told you guys that every Thanksgiving I have, you know, I'm sitting at this table with, at my aunt's house and I realized that there's a mirror above the table and we always have Thanksgiving at her house and there's always a ton of food. Yes, exactly. And, and it's, you know, it's a very, um, it's, um, it's the perception of the mirror and doubling things that um, it's not good to have a mirror in your, um, when you sleep because it's not a good energy, but it's great to have it in the dining room and also in the front of your, once you come into your house and you have a hallway, it's very good to have it there too. When we talk about money and we're talking the food, why it represents with money in the house? Because that's what you're creating in your house itself. What it's multiplying is food, what you created. So the stove and your kitchen is very important for abundance. So make sure your stove works properly. If you have um, one side or maybe the oven is not working, you stop using it because it's not working. That's very, it's not good feng shui because you are not utilizing all the energy elements you have in your house to produce more abundance. So make sure everything is working properly. Make sure you clean it very well. Um, having a clean, uh, not only a kitchen, but a clean stove uh, is a very good way to create more abundance. Um, also, the colors for wealth are red is an excellent color. We see it in Ch um, Chinese culture. We see it in Hindu culture. Kabbalah, the Kabbalah red to string. the red string. So red is a very powerful color, and it's actually connected to our first chakra. Um, so it gives you that power and that energy that you need. Um, excellent color too for wealth is black because water, as I said before, money is related to water. So water in feng shui is black. So if you think about uh, colors on your business, you see people wearing always black suits, a black purse, you know, that brings wealth into you. Um, there is also a color, it's uh, very connected to wealth in feng shui, which is purple, because they have a saying, I can't say it in Chinese, I don't know, but <laughs> it comes out to, it can be more than red is purple. So you think about the color red, if it's very intense red, it will turn into purple. So it's like a concentration of red energy. And if you think about it in the Renaissance, like the medieval times, the, a lot of the royal uh, purple and greens were worn a lot from by nobility. Exactly. And you talk about uh, green, which is very important too, because green is the color of growth. So we have here our jade plant, also the same as the jade crystal. So that color is green, which is tree, which means grow and multiply. And so we already talked about the plants. I'm just gonna say a, um, to just rephrase if people haven't heard us at the beginning of the show. Um, if you wanna create abundance, uh, it's very good to have a jade plant. They're very easy to take care of. They are not expensive. Any changes you do on feng shui in your house doesn't have to be there expensive. Don't think about, oh, I have to spend thousands of dollars in my house to feng shui my house. It's not true. I mean, these plants, you can get them any place for less than $10. And so you can have the plants in your house, inside and out. This is a very easy plant to take care of. And as we said before, it doesn't need uh, much water. So very low, uh, very few resources. It needs to be nice, pretty, and abundant. And our last um, tip 
for the day. And with most feng- important, <laughs> I think. Yes, feng shui. Now we're going to talk about our wallet because that's where you keep your money. So this is actually my real wallet, which is feng shui. So why is feng shui? So first of all, um, as I said before, money is connected with water. So in feng shui, you have to balance the elements. What holds water, it's metal. So the metal, if you look at this, it's kind of like I have it silver and then I have gold, which are elements that support water. So very good colors for your wallet is a black, red, you can have silver or gold. Gold is the best one. And I think it's a very um, uh, fashion a statement right now. Um, also, in your wallet, you if you have a wallet that is falling apart, that has holes, your coins are falling off, well, your money is going down the drain. So make sure once your wallet has something that is not working very well, just get a new one. Nothing a better feng shui that get new things. Don't think about it's going to be expensive. You don't need to buy the $5,000 wallet to bring abundance, but just have within your budget something something that is nice and new, something that is secure. These ones, with uh, they're very common now with the whole um, zipper because you have your money safe. Um, have it big enough to hold your bills. You don't want those tiny wa- uh, wallets where you have to fold in the the bills. That's not good feng shui. You have to take care of your money and your bills. So that's the most important part, I guess. And try not to keep your um, uh, receipts in them because that's showing that, you know, it's money that you don't have anymore. Just try to keep keep everything organized. Organized and you just try to, to like take care of your money and that's how you, you, you see that you take care of it and it's taking care of you and it's going to grow. When you have a space in your wallet to put more bills, you're letting more money to come into your into your wallet. If you have a tiny wallet, it's going to fo- just only hold a few bills. Amazing. You know? And I wanted to make a very important point, um, Stefan, we, ha- we have to wrap this up, but I know you, you know Calypso very well, how we can relate the money issue to past lives. I know that um, people, if they were living in poverty in a past life, this could very much affect them. And what she can do is go back and suck that pattern out of poverty. But as we conclude today, Um, We just want to remind all of our listeners that we have events going on this week at our center. Um, We are opening up our new center in August. We're going to have yoga, uh, massages, amazing things going on. Uh, Monday, we have meditation and infinity walk at 6. We're located on at 6885 Southwest 18th Street on Powerline and Palmetto in Boca Raton. And we would love to have you. We have Calypso's workshop at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. And we're always doing new things. Check out our website, bocasoulcenter.com. What about the Reiki Circle? Reiki Circle? And we're have, when is the Reiki Circle? Tell. We, we're in process. We're in process of putting that together. Putting but that. pretty soon. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you Thank so much you for, for listening. listening. Have a wonderful day. Bye, Next, everyone. Bye. Thanks for listening to Boca Soul. Featuring Calypso, brought to you by the Calypso Shah Spiritual Center in Boca Raton. Specializing in past lives readings, astrology, plus energy healing, event planning, and more. Calypso Spiritual Center, where you discover the beauty of your soul. Call 561-808-9180 to make your appointment. And tune in again next week for more Boca Soul. The opinion.